waiting in the registration line right now. Um, but I already see decor girls, so I'm very excited. <laughs> Here we are. So this is the main event venue area, and then there's like some stuff out there. But this is where we need to find the little pet shops because they're hiding. Um, I'll show you what's around. I see what's around. I see them. Okay. Let's take two. Let's keep walking. <laughs> That's the Eiffel Tower we saw at Toy Fair, but the actual one. <laughs> it's real, it's done! Yeah. We saw it at Toy Fair when it was oh, all cardboard. Yeah. This is it. It looks so good! July, really? Yeah. Yo. That's a great photo! <laughs> wow! I'm dressed like another brand, though. Shh. It's all right. I didn't see all on the list of, or I guess Playmates was probably. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, my video on uh, the other two is coming out probably Saturday. It's scheduled right now. <laughs> so you saw this? If you saw this, the yeah. 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 But y'all had showed me all the really cool lights. Like, yeah. But it was. Uh, I, I hope y'all kept that cardboard bottle. It was so cool. <laughs> and it was so hard to keep quiet about it because I saw it. I was like. <laughs> Yeah. I was so scared it would get canceled. I can't believe it's already coming. Well, so in July. We'll yeah, so July. I saw it. It showed up in the toy book, I think, at least. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, we, we purposely announced it. Okay. So, um, but, yeah. But oh, it's, it's still so July. cool. Like, they use the doll stands I use. <laughs> okay, so tell us some features. Let's, let's see what's going on. Lydia is oh, okay. our miraculous <laughs> superstar. Well, hi. So we have three levels of play here. Down here is the picnic area, and here you have a working elevator. Oh my which god! Which you can use a string in the back to pull up and down. Oh, that's what's attached to yeah. that. Here we have the dining area, the restaurant. And this is our newest doll. This is Ubiquity. She's available at Target. And, and my review on her is going to be out soon, probably after this video, though. <laughs> up here we have when it turns around, we have a but we do have storage. Yeah. Oh, is that the string to the elevator? Yeah, and so the door is open, so it won't. Yeah, I got you. Um, here we have palmy storage and a zip line. And when we don't have it attached to a rotating table, <laughs> you can take the zip line. That would be fun. Make like a crazy. <laughs> yeah. And does it come with all of the little accessories that it we're seeing around? Three wow. plus accessories, just not the fashion dolls and the cars. Oh yeah. my god. And we here have four pop-up shops, so these will move up and down. Oh, there's so you can keep them hidden, or you can open them up. Yeah, and these actually go like this as well. That is amazing. So this is like the first Eiffel Tower ever for dolls, so this is so exciting. Like, <laughs> look at that. And there's a transformation surprise marinette in there. Oh, it's so cool. I was not expecting to see this here. Some Lucky Charm accessories oh, as well. Oh, how fun! So in the show, she like finds like, she, she has to ask for something like, help, I need help. And then she gets a lucky thing because that's ladybugs are lucky. I guess I don't know. They made that up. <laughs> Um, so that's so cute because there aren't any of those yet with any of the other dolls and stuff. Look, we got a little picnic they can have here. Oh my god, this is so cool. I, I explained that so badly. <laughs> no, I don't know how to describe it. It's a lucky charm. Like, it's like exactly what you need. Mouse Couture. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my god. So what's your favorite feature? What? I think that elevator is so cool. I want to show it to you. I just have to close the <laughs> no, door first and also add it's the rotating. rotating. It's gonna be so you want me to stop it? Yeah, let's pause it for Yeah, y'all are genius time. for bringing the rotating acrylic this is amazing okay, perfect yeah. all right elevator time guys <laughs> I just have to get it closed so it goes up to the second story yeah so it goes up to the second story where wow. Lennox and Ubiquity so we'll kind of scooch them oh no they're, they're taped down so we won't but get it go that is the coolest thing. And then in theory, you could open this yeah. and see, but we're not gonna do that because we don't wanna knock anything over, but. Yeah, oh, that rocks. It, like right here where it would open I it. I love the wanna... runway situation. And then like, it's this back is so here. Weird. You see the pink, yeah. Now, how big is the box on the show? <laughs> the box is pretty big. Yeah. It's gonna fit, a, is it in stores only or, or sorry, is it online only or is it in stores? It'll be in stores, it'll be online. Because Miraculous doesn't get a big section, so y'all are upgrading it. That's awesome. But, they love it. So. I love it. Yeah, like this yeah, is the coolest yeah, thing ever. Yeah. No, everybody, because I've talked about it in a video after yeah. after it was okay to talk about, yeah. <laughs> and everyone was like, right. "That's the coolest yeah. thing." No, people are so excited about this, and just wow. I love the accessories. They're really nice. This makes me want more miraculous play sets because the Marinette's bedroom looks awesome. That one too. I was like, "That's so good for other dolls too." Yeah. It's so perfect. The little top part, especially, it's so cute. No, this is like hitting it out of the park. It's amazing, and it comes with this, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, how much is the retail for this? This is 
One thirty nine ninety nine. I feel like that's really, really cheap. It's, it's over <laughs> that's retail. That's really cheap. So, yeah. yeah, it's a really good deal. Uh, so yeah, we have a one thirty nine ninety nine retail at Walmart in July, hopefully of twenty twenty four. That is, I can't believe it's already out. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Also, that's all right? Yeah. And I'm annoying about Godzilla, so Godzilla is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and look, so we have. I haven't spoiled anything from the movie yet. I just know Scar King. Is that guy? Scar King. Yeah. Shimo. And Shimo. Yeah. Shimo. Uh, <laughs> Doug and uh, his baby. Oh my god! <gasps> I know baby Godzilla. He might not be Godzilla. He might be one of the <laughs> inner Earth guys. I don't know. <gasps> I've never seen him. I assume he's in the trailers. I haven't watched the trailers yet because I'm trying to like. Hold up. So those oh are a part of our basics, and then we have um, here. <laughs> no problem. Oh. This. Nice. We also do. Oh, what do I need? Eyes. Well, he should be boring. He is boring, I can hear, yeah. yeah. Oh, cute. Like that. <laughs> I like the glowing. These are our 13 inches. They'll be out this fall. Great. And this is awesome. This is going to be popular. This is so our fun. interactive mask. So what will happen here, too, like you'll put it on. And when you actually move. And he he um, roars, too. Oh, oh, wow. I like the Godzilla one looks really good. Yep. That's so cool. And then our uh, Godzilla mist here. Let's see if he works. Oh, that that's going to breathe fire. Probably out of mist, but I know how it's a it's a humidifier. It's a super yeah, sonic. Oh, see, there he oh, goes. Coming. Maybe a black. We don't have anything I black. It. But yeah, I can see it. That's so cool. <gasps> so that's an ultrasonic humidifier. Is how it works. So that's like really clever. I love that. Yeah. Or so they. So all... these are really actually a nice material too. <laughs> so they are all articulated. So here. fun. And it's coming out so soon. Oh, Godzilla got a tail upgrade Sick. of some kind. And we've got a fire. So is this, is this flaming Godzilla or like what's going on? Because he has a like pink. Yeah. Well, well, this, that's his heat rate, and it pops out too, so it's a detachable. So they did red for this movie instead of blue, yeah. which we'll see why, I guess. And then we have this guy, Shimo. Well, I guess they both have a worthy adversary for the whatever final battle they do. I'm obsessed with this. That is my favorite thing. He's just a little guy. I know. Like, he's really cute, right? <laughs> I personally like Suko, but... He's very yeah, cute. Yeah. And then we have the, you know... Um, oh, you know their names. Who's I this? I do. Well, <laughs> they call him Doug. Titus... Doug? Titus Drug. Doug. Drug. Okay, D-R-U. No, D-O-U-G. Doug. Oh, it is... It's a dog? <laughs> Hello, Douglas. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and then... Uh, He's so cute. So these ones come in these? No. No. They're just part of our six okay. inch, our basic figures. Oh, and they're small because they're small. They're just small, it. right. I um, love them so but much. But these are like our four inch crystals, okay. and then inside and is the two an inch um, character. Cute. So the four main characters are in front of these. So you guys get one of these to go. Oh, so we get to see what's in there. Thank yes. you. <laughs> and you know, we love you tagging us as you do it. Absolutely. But you have our stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Always. Thank you. This is awesome. Okay. Are um, you turtle fans too? I know. So I know much. enough. And he is. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, we can. All right, you guys, I have to come by and show you the Ninja Turtles, even though I don't know as much about Ninja Turtles as I should. So we've got a bunch of really cool stuff. So this is actually like a mix and match, create your own sort of line over here. So you can see some abominations they've created. These are really, really cool. Very like 80s to me. Like these are so fun. And over here, these are your new characters. I really like the young Splinter. Um, this is really funny and he is flocked. Uh, not the mustache though, but this is, wow. And then this guy, I like this guy. <laughs> and we have mutant, to mutant tots, I like the little guys. These are really cool. And over here, we've got the farters, the tootin' turtles, and they're whoop they're whoopee cushions. These are really fun actually. I feel like I haven't seen, I guess we're, we gotta bring back farting, always. <laughs> bring back farting. <laughs> And then over here, these are based on the original sketch, so I think that's probably the first time they've done that in toy form, unless it's like statues and stuff. But these are very cool. This is probably the coolest thing they have at this table. That, like, how fun is that? And they come with the, or these remastered versions, which are going to be at Walmart, come with the base, and then these guys are on the targets. Pretty cool. And then of course they brought a whole one where you can mix and match your own. You can see some creations that have been done already. Uh, so this rocks, really cool. I always like seeing what's going on with Ninja Turtles at these events, even though I don't know what's going on. 
Also, I love the acrylic. That is genius. The slime colored acrylic is very smart. Love it. Okay, sorry, I, I got, oh look, they projected playmates on the wall, that's cool. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, I got very distracted. They have Lego, they have Stumble Guys. The Acres is here. Oh, and I can finally show you the things that they had at Toy Fair. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> So these we saw at New York Toy Fair, and I was so excited, but I wasn't allowed to even mention it, uh, of course. And it's this whole line of colorful farm, like, uh, kid themed, a lot of kid themed ones, but I love that farm, like, oh, I, the lemonade stand is my favorite set, like, that is so exciting, oh my god. Anyway, we've got like this little, I've heard of these, I don't know what they are. And a new Disney Junior show, apparently. Yeah, we're stuck in a junction right now. Over here we've got Spin Master. They will never, they just don't want to advertise Unicorn Academy. That's just, I don't know. Most patch ups are over there. We've got food. And then, look, oh, Decora Girls. Oh, they brought the standee. I want that so bad. And look, the PR kits are there. <laughs> and the Suzu Aquarium will come back. We're going to circle back around. You guys, this is so cool. I've never heard of this, but check it out. These are water balloons that seal with magnets, and they seal really well. See? And look. So when you throw them, they'll pop on people, and you get wet, and it's horrible, but then you just refill them. It's hard to do with one hand. Brett, can you open them? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So you refill it just by popping it open, get it in the water, and you're done. And then you can get someone with it, which, you know, you'd have to do it harder, but... That is so clever. So these are called Safi Sit. And ah! I love it. Oh, ah! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is so smart. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is genius. This is one of those things where it's like, how did nobody come up with this? But then like whoever did just perfect idea. Wow. Thank you so much for showing them. They're so cool. <laughs> so um, Celestia and Sweetie found me. So that's cool. So we met all four today. Cause it, I don't know if it's gonna be in this video but Luna was at FAO Schwartz and we went. So we got to meet all, well all three, I'm the fourth. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna keep making our rounds. I'm gonna try not to stop at any more booths because we'll we'll stop at them later. We're gonna do it in depth. Now I just want to show you what's here. So we got fresh balls. We'll be back. Uh, and then we have, oh, yeah. There they are. Um, we got Playmobil. So. Oh, this is just some kind of setup that they did for this event. Is Playmobil here? Fine. Oh, sorry. Um, Playmobil's here. I, they have so much cool stuff. I really love it. Um, they came to one of the equivalents of this event was last year, and I was like, because their product is so cool. And they also have that, the miraculous stuff here, which rocks, which rocks. So this is a miraculous day. Uh, and then, oh, yeah. oh, littlest pet shop. There's a promotional one. I'm gonna leave that in the back. Back in the loop. Love it. Oh my gosh. Um, so we'll be back to look at those. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we got our promotional pet, a sample. That is so cool. Um, anyway, uh, look, there's some people upstairs. <laughs> All right, so I just finished doing my first rounds. I'm so excited to see everything. Um, well, I, I saw everything, but I'm excited to get to all the tables. I am so glad Littlest Pet Shops and Decor Girls specifically have presents. Like, I can't wait to like go up to those tables and actually like talk to them because I was just trying to do like a preliminary walkthrough. But I did. I could not not stop at Playmates. I I freaked out a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see Playmobil. Um, maybe talk to Lego because they have the new Animal Crossing Lego sets, which Brett already got three of them, but we haven't been able to find the uh, like Tom Nook set that his shop. Is it? I don't. It's not like 
it's a new leaf one, right? It's not the new horizons one. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, this is this is a lot better than the one that was last year that I was kind of upset about going to because of how, how expensive these trips can be. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited. This is really cool. <laughs> Hey guys, as always, we're gonna stop by and see Cats vs. Pickles, you know I love these. And we have the holiday, like from 2023. They're not holiday themed, but this is like the 2023 ones. And then I didn't know, but they just have a regular one that's always around. So is this the holiday ones up here? Or is this everybody? This is just randoms. Randoms. But if you're not familiar with these, they're basically little beanbag cats and pickles, of course. And there's other guys now too. It's, there's an extended universe. Um, but they're just so satisfying to hold in your hand. And there's even a cornhole game. And the cornhole game is game changing, life changing even. And I love it. All right, you guys, this is series one of the mini Decora Girls. And series two is coming soon and they're amazing. So you guys get excited. I got preliminary look and oh my God. Uh, but here we have them all. So we've got Buzzy, Cat. I think this is Heather, Luna, Decora. Oh my gosh, wait, that sweetie styling is really nice. What? What's going on with her? I'm not familiar with her outfit, I guess. Uh, London, Celestia, and Blossom. And they are so, so cute. So if you haven't heard of these yet, I did a video reviewing London and the big Decora, as well as a playset that they don't have on display here. And oh my gosh, you guys, these are my new everything. Uh, I love them so much. And I am just so excited to see them here. And then, of course, they also have the fashion decor girls who got a little messed up because um, Decora took a tumble off the table and it maybe was my fault. Um, so I'm going to fix her up. Uh, but I did a review on her. So if you want to see her perfect, check my video. Oh, but look how cute you look. There's Luna, Sweetie, Decora, and Celestia. And look at, I finally got a friend bracelet to add to my best because they gave me best in my PR kit. Um, so that's very exciting. And yeah, look at this, this is so cool. All right, you guys, the last thing at this booth are these Zuzu pets. So they have the Zoo Aquarium. So they brought back, remember these things? They were these little hamsters. I'll show you. <laughs> that would run around your table. But these are sea animals. And these are the greatest thing since Zuzu Pets hamster version. And they're just so fun. They're just so fun. I don't believe these ones are turned on right now, but they really, they work just like the Zuzu Pets. This goes flying when they get in it. It's just, it's life changing. They're so cute. So, so cute. And these are finally starting to hit stores. There's something a little funny going on with the distribution. So they're going to start like in a month or two. They should be at regular retailers, but keep an eye on their social media because they're starting to show up at like certain stores. I'm not gonna say which ones, check their social media. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna inform you guys wrong, uh, but definitely start looking out for these in stores. They're so, so cool. But Cats vs. Pickles already in stores. You can just get those. Decora Girls actively gonna start showing up in stores in the next couple of weeks within a month. Should be all of them. I love them, I'm so excited. Hi guys, we're here. Look. Little's Pet Shop showed up. So this is my favorite Little's Pet Shop. This is from my childhood. This is not a thing from Basic Fun. But I just wanted to show you how similar they are to the originals. Isn't that perfect? This, oh my God. So something that I haven't been able to show you guys on my channel yet. So I have reviewed a ton of these, a ton of them. But these, like these premium glittery ones I've never seen in person like this before. Well, we kind of saw them at Toy Fair, but um, we didn't get a lot of time. Those are so cute. The ones with the extra deco. And some of these sets aren't like super common to see in the US yet, so it's really exciting to find them here. We got the Safari play pack. This absolutely darling precious angel. Isn't he cute? I love him. And this is actually a reproduction of an original Little's Cut Shop play set. Um, it used to have a magnet that you could like move this dog around, but now it's just this. Which is kind of cool if you just want to like set up. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. We, we got a picture. <laughs> um, and then this I just reviewed. This is really cool. This like hamster wheel works so well. So much fun. And anyway, I'm moving in. Goodbye. We have arrived at the Honey Bee Acres section and we love Honey Bee Acres. And these are the things, like I said, I saw these at Toy Fair and I had to keep it super secret because they weren't even letting influencers in there. I got to go in, which was really cool. Uh, but there was nothing I could tell you about, unfortunately. But just look at these sets. So Honey Bee Acres, the thing about them is that they're like really, really, really affordable in addition to just being so cute and detailed. So you see all of these different little pieces and they're glued down just for the event. They don't actually come glued down like that. This set, this entire set is $20. So 
like, and there's like cheaper sets. There's twenty five dollars for the schoolhouse, and like, look at this set. It's amazing. I love the glasses. That's so silly. Oh my gosh, and the bell. <gasps> it's a real bell. There's a real bell in there. <gasps> I wasn't expecting that at all. And then the bus, it lights up. So, oh yeah. Look how bright this light is, by the way. It's like blinding when it's bright. And, yeah. Yeah. Lemonade stand. That's my favorite, I think. This is $50 for the big farmhouse set. And it comes with everything you see. Oh my God, the scarecrow. That is so cute. It comes with everything you see from here over. Like, that is so cute. I'm knocking stuff over, guys. Oh no. <laughs> and then over here, we've got the Busby Farm truck as well as the small set. So cute. Love these. And these are mar these are launching in around May. Start expecting them in May. And I cannot wait to see these. Honeybee Acres is such a fun brand. And I loved the last series, which was very fantasy themed, but they decided to go back to this more down to earth farm theme, and I love it. Okay, you guys, we're here with Lego, checking out the Lego Friends, and this is the Ollie and Paisley's family houses, and it looks like they come together, and they come out in a couple days for $100. I, look at this. They even have the toilet paper on top of the back of the toilet. Like, oh, my goodness, we have a color point kitty. This little cupboard going on. This is so nice. The Lego Friends sets are like mind-boggling. The amount of cool stuff they fit in them. So does this like close? Oh. Yeah, this closes so that can continue or you can open it up so you have more space to play and you have that little covered area and you have a dad, which is funny. I think this person probably goes in this set. I don't know. Oh, that's, is that mother? Oh, maybe, yeah. Uh, because she has the, she has the watering can. And look at like the holly going on, like even on the roof. And there's a garden gnome and a frog. And then this little back door. How cute. And there's a kitty door. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so good. And then there's the other house. That, oh my God, the tree house. I love that they all have bathrooms. That must have been something people were like, make more bathrooms. Friends, the concern with friends is like playability. Yeah, play like a dollhouse. So, I don't think you can play in here, but it looks amazing. It's interesting how the priorities affect how the building is. Yeah. It's so interesting. But they do a great job of balancing both, I think. 23. Oh, they're neighbors. That's so fun. Just look at that. Oh my god, look. So this is house number 21. This is 23. 22. <laughs> I love that. God, this, these are so cool. Oh man, I love that she wrote 22 on there. That is so funny. Super cute. Yeah, that, that is fabulous. Love it. And then we bought this, but we haven't built it yet. Do you want spoilers? So check this out. That is so clever that they did that. Where's the slingshot? There's like a tool, but you guys, the slingshot is a tool bench. Look at the book. There's a KK record on the wall. There's a book. I wonder why. That's not a particular. Fauna reads books. Oh, when they lose their stuff and you have to go get it? Do they even do that in New Horizons? Well, there's the uh, nerdy class of yeah. character will read books, oh. and Fauna is one. Are these little fences for your yard? I guess. I don't, might be window replacements. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, so you can renovate your house if you want. This is for Fauna. This is her birthday party or something. But the I birthday party is. Julian. I think it's Isabel like neighborhood checkup oh, kind of thing. There's so Isabel. She's, she's visiting. Cutie. It's weird that she doesn't have a little oh, that's a recipe. clipboard. That's That's what they look like. Oh that's my cool. God, that's so clever. And then the tree. How do you feel about the way they did it? It's fine. It works. <laughs> oh, the digging spot. Oh, really? <gasps> the no, there's a fossil. Oh yeah. Where's the digging spot? Oh. Wow, they did a great job on that. Look at the fossil. Yeah. Oh my god, this rocks. I cannot wait to see these sets when Brett builds them, man. They look so good. And the retail for that is $40. Honestly, I was thinking $50, so I'm not mad at it. I love the tool bench. Oh, we got mail. Is it Animal Crossing mail? Yeah, it should be. Please? Oh, no? Oh, it's in the box. It's in the box. It's oh. It's Animal Crossing. Yeah. Cool. I want like a little inventory. 
some sort of, like make a little with Bob the symbols. It'd be so cute. Yeah, yeah, because it's a pop-up on Horizons, right? Huge. So that's Lego. There's other stuff, but it's so busy and I don't want to take up too much time. Here we are with the Fresh dolls and they once again have brought the Fresh Beats, which we met last year. I believe it's Sweet Sweet, right? And gosh, I just love these dolls. I think that they're so absolutely beautiful. Their faces are just so stunning. This is probably my favorite character. I, can, I can't find her. Like, <laughs> and they've restyled two of them. Look at this. That is beautiful. That is the same doll, like same hair, no reroute. They just styled it that way. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we have our little fresh fairies. So sweet. I love these. I I want to see like full size dolls of these. They're like, oh my god, oh my god. And we've got look at them. That fresh squad, which are gorgeous. And they actually sent me home with this one, so I'm so excited because I've been wanting to review these. They are absolutely beautiful dolls. And look at these. And then these are the other alternatives for younger kids. They're very, very sweet. I really love that one. Her face is stunning, stunning. And then Rock the Bells, which are super cute. Super cute fresh dolls. Always love to see fresh dolls at these events. And it seems like the Fresh Beats is getting a show soon or something. I've been seeing on social media some teasing. I'm going to ask about that. Uh, but she's talking to someone else right now. But oh my gosh. You guys, Playmobil also has some amazing, miraculous stuff. Now, if you watch my Toy Fair vlogs, you have seen a little hint about these because they had them there too. But I just don't recall this, so I'm not sure if it wasn't there or if it was just a picture there. But look at the way they did the Kwamis. Look at little Plug. I love him. Adrian's face is absolutely hilarious here. Um, and they also come with these little bracelets for you. And then if you want to know who the other characters are, there you go. So it appears there's a Hawk Moth one. I'm not even sure who that is. Um, this is Waze. I don't know what they're doing. Um, so I'm very curious about that. Really cool. And then if I move this over, look at this set. So it's Marinette, oops, Marinette and Manon. Just doing a little babysitting situation. And I love Marinette with the little doll for Manon. So sweet. The bed is amazing. The dress form that's actually like Playmobil figures shape. How cute is that? And just all the accessories. It's even like, is that a gaming controller? Like she's playing a little fighting game back there. So cool. There's even the door. That's not a, it's not a real door, but the one she takes to go downstairs in her home. And up here, her bed, which I love this. I love this. You know, there's a play set for the dolls, but this is like beyond it just doesn't have the top piece but i love the like this is just beautiful i think this is like absolutely perfect for miraculous fans and there's in there's more sets allegedly i haven't seen them but i heard they're very cool and i'm really excited to see what else is coming so the price for this one is 69.99 i believe and then these i think are 16.99 and you get two plus the kwame in each one so very very cool and there's lots of other sets there's i like these horse ones these are really cool. Look at the barn cat and the bunnies. It's like a little veterinary set, I guess. And it's just, there's even brushable hair horses, yeah. Um, and then these, we have our 50th anniversary. And look how funny, it's like iconic Playmobil sorts of setups, right? Like this specifically, that's very iconic Playmobil, but it's got silly birthday themed stuff going on. And I think she said there were six different ones. So I imagine there's a princess set, like this is really cool. Very, very cute. I love, I love it. So much fun. All right, you guys, that is it for the spring fling event. I had so much fun. This is so much better than the last one. I was nervous. Uh, there's so much fun stuff. I love being decorum. Everybody loved my wig and I'm very grateful. I got to meet so many cool people and yeah, let me know what you guys are the most excited to see. I. I mean, Lil's Pet Shop and Decor, I already knew about all of those. There's, that Eiffel Tower is like, show-stopping. I cannot wait to have that in my house. I need three of them. Brett, can I get three of them? I can put one in the living room, one in the bedroom, and one in my doll room. He's, he's saying no. <laughs> what?